In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install APK files in BlueStacks on a Windows PC. So we'll open up the program. Once it loads, you have two options to add these files. You can either choose My Games, and you can see there's an option here to install local APKs from your PC to the program. Or you can click on this icon down here, which is called App Player, and a new window should load up. And if you focus on the right hand side toolbar, there's an option called APK, which you can see here, just the bait. And if you click on that, it gives you the option to choose the files which are stored on your PC. So unfortunately, BlueStacks by default runs quite an old version of Android and many apps are not compatible with the old version of Android. So if you click on the app, for example, You may get a message saying that the an installation error and you need to basically update the version of Android on this particular program. So to do that, it's not too difficult. So on the same page, again, if we go to the right hand side and the last but one option we want to choose, then here, choose that option. And you can see it runs quite an old version of Android. So what we need to do is go down to the bottom left hand corner and choose this option here and then choose fresh instance. And then we can choose a different version of Android. So the most recent one available for this program is Android 11. So choose that one and choose next. You can fill in certain details if you want to. If not, just uh, leave them as they are. Select download. It may take around five to 10 minutes to download. So just be patient. Okay, that's now been installed and we need to select start. Okay, a new screen's now loaded up and if I repeat the same process, go back over to the toolbar and select the APK option, then choose the app installed on your PC to download. And hopefully this time this app should install, no problem. And you can now see that app has successfully installed. So if you do get that problem, just you, you just need to update the version of Android on the program. And if you go back over to the option down the bottom again, click on that one. You can then um, uninstall the old version of Android if you want to. So select stop, select close. And once it's done that, you can then see there's a little delete icon. So select that and you can delete the old version of Android and hopefully everything should work. Okay. So that's it. Thanks for watching.